when you take the E8 lattice, which is not a code, and you act, you operate it with the hyperprojection vectors, which come from a four-dimensional subspace of E8, you break the symmetry of E8, but you also create a code, a non-deterministic code that is non-local and non-deterministic. And it is, it is because it is very powerful when you have an algebra act upon itself. So you have a lower dimension, you have some sub-algebra, okay, and it acts, it self-interacts with a more fundamental aspect of the, root ve of the primary root vector algebra. So I was very inspired by Cole Fury. I was reading a, a math blog, a physics blog that she wrote, and she was talking about her intuitions that nature is, um, is an algebra acting upon itself, okay? And, and then I tried to take that, I felt a good intuition in my stomach about that, those words, a, a strong hit. So I always do, every time I get a strong hit, I take my visualizing into the QSN, and I take everything that I remember about the QSN from eight years, and then I just ask questions and I visualize. So what I get, but one of the things I learned in the last eight years is that our formalism is discretized hope fibers, which are nothing more complicated than polygons, right? You discretize these, these one spheres uh, on the gusset polytope, and you discretize the points on the one sphere, and you simply get a, a polygon, a regular polygon. And then you take those regular polygons that have been discretized, and then you project them down to 4D in the Elser Sloan quasi crystal, and you rearrange the, the vertices of these polygons, and, and you once again have a hope fiber formalism, but now what you have is, is a code, a dynamical code of interacting hope fibers. And that is that code is it, it relates to braiding, twisting. There is a fundamental helicity in the lower dimensional representation of these of these transformed hope fibers. And there's a and there's a non-deterministic dynamism to them. Meaning, whenever I say non-deterministic, you can just replace that with the word code theoretic, because that's the definition of a code is that it's non-deterministic. So anyway, so, so that then is equal, this, all these three formalisms will spit out or generate a new gauge symmetry physics that no one has ever done before, which is based, as I said, on the self-interaction of two sub-algebras of the E8 lattice. One is the projector algebra that defines the angular relationship between adjacent trivector packages. In other words, tetrahedra, trivectors sharing the same origin. So you have two trivectors sharing, adjacent trivectors sharing the same origin, and the relationship between them is a dihedral angle. And that dihedral angle is, is, is the essence of the projection hypervector uh, that acts algebraically and geometrically by projective transformation on the root vector relationships of E8, where we have simple numbers like 60, 90, 180, 120 degrees. So you have to think more about interacting them, and that's what makes our program so much different. This gives you codes. It gives you codes that are non-local and non um, deterministic, topological nets.